Hi, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Frank Walters and today we'll be doing the pencil sketch effect in Pixelmator Pro. Okay, let's get started. Come up here to the menu bar and you want to click on the menu bar view auto center. Make sure that this is not checked. So just like just like this. If yours is checked, it has this little check mark on there, make sure you click on it so that it is not checked. The reason we want that not checked is so that we can move the image around on our canvas. And later on in this tutorial, you'll, you'll understand why. Okay, so then we want to duplicate this first image layer. So right click or control click on the layer and press duplicate. And come up here to the uh, top of the layer sidebar. And where it says insert layer icon, click on that and do color adjustments. Come over to the right side where it says hue and saturation and turn it on. Maybe yours is turned off. So turn it on and saturation all the way to the left. So it's completely desaturated. All right, good. Let's go back to the layer sidebar and click on the middle duplicated layer. So it's active and highlighted. We're going to change its blend mode from normal to color dodge. So normal color dodge. And then we want to invert this layer. So press Command I. Very good. Now we want to go to the right side of the screen where the tools are and the effects icon here. Click on Add Effect and Blur. And we want Gaussian Blur. And then here you want to put 0.9. And that's our effect. We're done. Isn't that easy? Uh, now what we have to do is that we have to paint away these clouds. We could paint it in white, but it's better to use a layer mask. And so what we're going to do is that we're going to add a black layer mask to this image and then use the paintbrush tool and paint this away. The reason we're going to use the um, layer mask is, is uh, if we make a mistake, it's more easy to, to, to bring back parts of the Eiffel Tower that we may have painted on. So just bear, just bear with me. Um, come over here to the, um, the bottom, the, the layer sidebar. Click on the bottom layer. And we want to um, go again, come up here to the uh, top of the layer sidebar and where it says shape and what rectangle. And we want to click and drag the rectangle so it covers the entire picture. Very good. Now we want to uh, right click on this layer, this uh, rounded rectangle layer. Um, and where it says add mask, we want to hold down the alt key and press add mask. And that creates this black layer mask here. Now we want to use the paintbrush tool to paint away the background. So we come over here and click on the paintbrush tool or press the letter B. Okay. Before we start painting, we need to make some adjustments. The first adjustment is we want to make this color white. So you can press D and then X. And X again. X alternates to black and white. So we want white. The brush size 140. So if you have a different brush size, you can use the slider or you can just double click in here and type 140 and press return. We want the softness to be 0% and in the advanced settings here we want the brush spacing to also to be 0%. Okay so now all we have to do is start painting away these kind of this dirty dirty sky. Um, like we did in the color splash effect where I taught you how if you click one time here and you go to the other side of the screen here and you hold down the shift key and then click that creates a straight line so that we're going to use that technique here unfortunately it got rid part of our Eiffel Tower so we're going to decrease the size of the brush brush by pressing the left bracket key and we're going to press the X button to change the color back to black and then we're going to paint back in part of the Eiffel Tower that we painted out Okay, that's why we're using the black layer mask. We see how easy that is. It's so great. So change the color back to white by pressing the X key. Zoom out of the picture. And I want you to press the uh, the right bracket key. Make the 
brush back up to 140. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna paint away this side here first and then this side. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna paint over. Good, and then come up here, paint on this side of the Eiffel Tower. Good, now we'll paint down this side. Don't worry about being too close to the Eiffel Tower. I'm gonna do the click here. Good. Now we've we've made a, a outline of the Eiffel Tower. If you come over here and look at the layers panel at this black layer mask, you can see that we've made these these kind of like these these different quadrants here. So what we need to do is to increase the uh, brush size pretty large. Uh, that's too big. Let's say 300s, okay. And we're gonna paint inside of this this uh, black area here. So just paint here. Paint over here. And then we can, it's not so clear here in the image what we just painted, but we can look on the, uh, look at this black layer mask and we can see that we get, we did a good job. We, we got most of it. So now it's time to do the very fine details. So we want to zoom in, let's zoom in to the bottom left corner of the picture here. And you can see some of the old clouds here. And there's a trick that you can do. You can tap two fingers on your trackpad, and this little cool window appears where you can adjust the brush size. It's nice to have this little option here and not use the bracket keys, because for me to use the bracket keys, I have to move my left hand all the way across the keyboard, look at the bracket keys, and make sure I do that. But but this little trick of uh, two two finger tap on the uh, trackpad is really great. And then you just click on the on the screen to make that disappear. So now we just want to start painting away the the background, the uh, the, the sky. And I'm going to go as fast as I can for the video and you guys can can do this on your own to make it much more precise. So I'm just going to do a fast job here. Oops, I painted too much. How do I get that stuff to come back? Press the X key on the keyboard to change the color to black, and you can paint it back in. I think that's so cool. Press the X key again so we can do some more erasing or painting. And then this side too. Oops, X. That's okay. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is probably a building, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Artistic ability. Okay. So then come over here to the middle here, and we want to uh, decrease the size of the brush. Tap one time with two fingers on the trackpad. Lower the brush size. I think down pretty small. Ten, nine, ten, eleven. So click here, and then hold down Shift, click. I just do the Shift click buttons here. There's a little curvature here, so you gotta be careful. So the border's done. We can make that a little bit bigger. That's too big. Good. Oops. Press X, paint that back in. Come down here, and then I wanna get these clouds here. So tap, brush size, Seven, that's good. And then we want to paint this away too. Okay, when you do this by yourself, take your time, do as much as you can, get rid of all this extra uh, dirty cloud area here that you possibly can. So now we're done. So we're gonna press Command Zero to recenter our image. And now we're done. So this is how you, this is the effect, the uh, pencil sketch effect of changing a color picture into a black and white. 
And if you want to see a, a colored pencil sketch, all you have to do is come over to the layer sidebar and where it says the color adjustment, you want to click on click off the top layer. And there you go. There you have your your color pencil. If this color pencil sketch is a little bit too bland and you would like it to be um, brighter, you can click on the top image layer here. This is where we had the Gaussian blur. Come back over here to the tools and click on effects and the Gaussian blur. You can raise this radius, I think up to 5px looks pretty good. So I'm gonna click on this value box and type five and press return. Well, that's a little too strong. So let's do two. Two looks pretty good. Okay, so there you have it. We have our black and white pencil sketch, and we have our colored pencil sketch. And that's it for today's lesson. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.